Hi. This is my first time recording live into YouTube, so bear with me. Uh, and the thing about it is that it doesn't give you the picture of yourself until you're really recording. Um, and you can't really look at yourself. So it looks like I need to look at uh, a different place than I get to look when I'm doing it on Photo Booth, but we learned today that uh, when things are on Photo Booth, they're disappearing into an iPhoto uh, cosmos that I cannot access at the moment. So here we go. Um, I am, I've had a really rich day. Um, what I can't get into YouTube right now is <laughs> the first cooking demo that I did over in the park today. But I did that. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I got to share a good bit, two recipes, and a good bit of nutrition information. So if you have not looked at my Facebook page, please do. Um, it's a really neat basil cabbage uh, salad with dates and avocados. It's really lovely. And then also a chia buckwheat pudding uh, with fruit, and that's just really super duper too. So, uh, but we also talk about a good bit of the nutritional information about each of those things and sort of how to do these things on the go and so forth. So it's all really good stuff, really good information, and again, it's on my Facebook timeline. On Raw Chips Lindsay. Raw Chips is one word, and then Lindsay is the other word, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. So, look forward to seeing that. Um, today, a couple of things that I note other than that today. It's Labor Day, by the way, so um, I'm not laboring a lot, but it's been kind of a deep dive. Um, personal meditation day, which always results in some work getting done since uh, the work is the meditation. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's very hard to separate them, uh, even on the most Zen days. Um, that's kind of how the business started, was in meditation. So, but one thing I wanted to share is that I went to the documentary on Steve Jobs here in town and uh, wanted to take some notes on that and study uh, what that was, whatever I could glean from that. So that was a very intense experience this evening. I did that. And then also I'm getting some very clear information uh, downloaded from Spirit about how the company is structured. And one thing that I learned today that's pretty important and pretty new, uh, that's, that's very new paradigm, I guess you would say, uh, is that I will not be taking a salary uh, from the company. Um, not, right now I'm not, but that's not what I mean. I mean, I, I will not be doing that. So that was good to know. I didn't know that particularly. Um, but it's really important. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that I will be offering salaries, that people will be paid for their work, but, um, but it's very clear that the belief and the commitment and the knowing that all of my needs are met is not consistent with taking a salary. It is consistent with the company paying my expenses, but it's not consistent with me taking a salary and stockpiling and such. Um, or saving it up for, you know, needing it later. So that's very clear. It's also clear that uh, my living situation will continue as is for the time being, unless I have a partner or I need to, you know, have, um, this, is, this is a convenient lifestyle right now for, for someone who is single. Um, I don't anticipate uh, that changing anytime soon, but in the event that I had a partner, uh, it would be fine to be in uh, a, a walled location. Um, and also got some information about that we will most likely have manufacturing in, in quite a different setup than uh, we are thinking of right now. There goes my phone. Uh, sorry. Um, so that may include, probably includes a farm uh, or more than one farm. Um, in that case, if I was spending time there, I would either have a teeny tiny room where there would really just be room to sleep 
or you know would also stay in the car there but I think there would be a teeny tiny room just like enough for a bed basically um, no closet or anything like that uh, so I believe that's what's going on and there may be a community of people out in the forest or in uh, a rural area uh, who who is available and working um, or growing produce uh, etc so that's all fine and good to know and the main priority is for us to be continuing uh, aligning with those who who really feel called and who really know what they want um, in their whole dharmic structure. So uh, that's what that's what I got. That's what I learned today. It was uh, it was a really good learning day, a really good meditation day. I'm gonna go do some more now, uh, but I took a couple of hours to go to the documentary, and I almost got a beer on my way in there because they now have beer at that theater, which is super exciting in general. And it's actually a really beautiful, small, but really beautiful beer list. Um, but I did not get one, and I'm very pleased that I did not, because I really had a lot of notes to take during that. The last point and takeaway for the day, I believe, that I want to share with you is that this idea of uh, leaving the old paradigm behind, leaving the managing change thing behind, that's a whole paradigm in itself, right, that we have to manage change rather than just exist in the now. Um, in the Jobs documentary, I really saw him pushing through some huge walls and, of course, being very grueling and cruel and unempathic about it. Um, and, the, and the film really did not leave you with any comfort level one way or the other. It did not tie up well, uh, particularly at all, which is perfectly appropriate. Uh, it was stylistically quite nicely done. It was even rather uh, rather poetic um, in its narration, sometimes even a little more than, than I think was was probably necessary, but um, but it it declined to make the ending comfortable, which uh, you know is is cool since it's not clear what what all of that was with him. So um, but there was a thought of him becoming enlightened quite early, but keeping his ego with him and the and the gold chain that that holds on you uh, from Ram Dass's perspective, and uh, that seems congruent. That seems like a fair assessment uh, from what I know, and so I'm just super thankful to to hear that and know that and see all of the ways that that tears things down and really some uh, some pretty horrific things that went on and and I can think of another major personality leader who you know has had that same issue that you know knowing about um, that um, that leader kind of in some darker ways uh, has has really you know made me be quite vigilant and thoughtful uh, about you know what it means to move up. And, but I'm really thankful that I had meditated quite deeply and had a lot of downloads before I went to the documentary. And so I was very centered and, and focused in the space and, and with spirit. And so going into the documentary, I was able to uh, really listen critically um, and leave plenty behind and just be grateful that um, I, I understand in his time and moment you know, maybe it was even necessary. I mean, it feels like that's even the word, like it was necessary to just press and, you know, be that cruel to sort of break through. But that now the story is always made. He made story, you know, in marketing. And it hadn't really been done before. He created that necessity of creating story for people to, to own a product. And knowing that we all do that now, right? Like this is just how we work. And, and so that was quite startling to think that he really created that um, and recognized our need to move into that. But now knowing what we know and being, there we go, and being in alignment with something larger and something kinder, 
and, and always being in that alignment and having a goal of being in that alignment all the time. Uh, we don't we don't have to struggle. We don't have to have it be difficult. We don't have to have teams of people who cry. We don't have to have teams uh, of people who lose their families because they work for us. It's just not necessary anymore. So we're grateful and blessed his being, and I will probably call on him some uh, this evening to see, you know, where kind of where he is now and see what else uh, there is to offer or if we're even congruent spirits, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, it was, it was a good thought process. So, that's what I have to share for this evening. Um, yeah, again, I had a couple of really cool videos. I think you would have really liked them. They were quite entertaining from today, but, um, I, I made them in photo booths, and then I put them, as usual, into iPhoto, as I always do. And usually I would just pull that in to YouTube. And instead, iPhoto just sort of seized up every single time I tried to use it. And it wouldn't even let me scroll through photos or videos. And then it would not um, allow me to pull anything into YouTube. So I'm working on it. I'm on the case. Um, but in the meantime, we'll use this. It does not have as much um, resolution, I think. I think the picture does not look as good to me from where I'm sitting uh, and it seems darker that like it's not really navigating the camera quite as well as Apple does but what can you do so um, have a good night I do have to look down to do this because it, it has this button down here yeah okay peace and blessings I thought I hit it I'm gonna hit it again ah.